opening a restaurant is it's an exciting thing. It's like you're, you're giving birth to something new to the world and you're never quite sure exactly how it's going to be delivered. This is different from my previous restaurants, but this is definitely a lot more approachable. The menu itself is broken down into four categories, raw, sea, land and shared. Shared being almost that nice communal idea of uh, a beautiful copper cocotte with something that, that people can share together. Sparking a conversation with your dining companions about what's going on. And we just wanted to show to New York City as a whole. This is uh, what we deem um, a fun, approachable dining experience. I always loved cooking in the kitchen as a child with my uh, mother. My background personally is Middle Eastern, so you'll see uh, Mediterranean flavors mixed in. In the last few years, I've been doing a lot of traveling and I've gotten to visit Asia a few times. So you'll see a small Asian aesthetic to it, but done in a very Western way. Well, I'm a big fan of beets, and beets are just a tremendous fall vegetable. They're very bountiful. So here we take uh, beautiful fall beets, they're roasted, glazed in a little bit of olive oil. This came about through our travels in Asia as well. So we were just recently in Hong Kong, me and Paul doing a dinner at the Mandarin Oriental. Uh, so there's some influence in there where we have a exo sauce. This is the bacon exo sauce right here. So it's a classical exo sauce and instead of the ham that is normally associated with it, we do a little bit of bacon in there as well. I'm a big art fan. So, you know, I love going out to the museums and looking at different compositions and looking at the way other people put stuff together. And I like to draw inspiration from that. Mason opened Corton with me uh, many, many years ago. And we've been working ever since together. And so Mason's the executive chef here. We work with someone for a long time, anybody you know, you kind of start to think alike. And so there's a good sensibility there between us. And it's nice, it's almost like family. And so we know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and my job is to balance the whole thing, to have a very strong team, which we, we do. Here we're gonna make the, uh, the nudie for the next dish. So this is for the scallop with tom yum that we're getting ready to do. There's no boundaries here, you know, we want everyone here to explore and try and be creative. So here we have the Miyoga. The Miyoga is a Japanese ginger bulb, so it's got a nice bright freshness to it. We'll take our Tom Yum broth and we'll froth this up a little bit so it's not as dense and heavy as you would think it would be. You know, you get the silkiness from the scallops, the richness from the nudie, and then just that punch from the Tom Yum. So it's a very beautiful dish with a lot of layers to it. I've been with Paul for so long that this has just become normal and every day now. The adrenaline rush during service is amazing and just knowing that you're creating memories for lots of different people every single night is uh, it's a wonderful feeling to have. The challenge is being able to balance with the customer and the people that are cooking it. Cooking is a very monotonous job. It's an art but it's, it's main, mainly a craft. You have to come in and deliver. So the challenge is being able to do the artistic part and the creativity and the production and the standards and mix it all into one where it, it continues to evolve. It's a self-fulfilling kind of feel. We have a wonderful book coming out in December called To The Bone. So uh, that's to look forward to. That's to look forward to.